shelf that I got when I went to Puerto Rico. And the shaman mask is when I went to the rainforest in Puerto Rico. I bumped into a, a shamanistic man. And you know, he's a good friend and he gave me this um the room like a matte color this is why you see like this is matte and this is glossy so, I wanted to have a dimension so I colored that um matte and then I colored the inside like that glossy black glossy um paint so you get like a mirror reflected so I'm gonna show you guys how reflected it really is look I used two coats so it is reflected when you're doing divination and spell work using black mirrors, you need to have a reflective surface so that way you, you'll be able to perform at your optimum. Okay, so I had a dream about this black mirror, you know, after my grandmother passed away. She died, and um, as I was sleeping on that spot, this mirror showed up in my dream. I saw her carrying this mirror to me, and um, it was like glowing as, she, as it was getting closer. The mirror was glowing and glowing. It was just a crazy ass dream. So I decided to go ahead and make this black mirror. history and just you know the Native American the line and things like that. And I'm gonna find out that I'm not the only witch in the family. So that was really interesting. And I don't know if that was my grandmother giving me the mirror or the late a lady that looked like my grandmother giving me the mirror. But all I know was I had to recreate the mirror. So this was my recreation of that mirror. I love working with it guys it's awesome so if you're interested in making your own black mirror um, you can go to a craft store get you black glossy paint I recommend get like two paints get a matte and a glossy so that way you give it dimension and um, you can go to a thrift store and get you a um, is it a mirror tray or something like that they have different size mirrors at the uh, at the Goodwill and you know customize it to, to your own liking see with me i love to see i love anything that does with water so what i did was i used shells um some people use sticks to bring the earth element some people use um feathers to, to bring the air some people use what could you use for a fire maybe candlesticks or something fresh candlesticks or something like that 